Hey everyone, this is Ludwig from Uno Platform, and today we're going to continue on the subject of colors and uh, look at uh, custom colors, uh, fixed and themed custom colors. So uh, imagine this is uh, your project and you have this beautiful uh, purple theme, uh, but you need to have a uh, this new color integrated and it doesn't necessarily have a semantic uh, value. Uh, let's say it's a brand color that you want to integrate. Uh, and so I have this nice neon green that I'd like to integrate on my button here, but I don't want to change my main primary color in this case. Uh, I just want to integrate this one here. So what I'll do is I need to create a new uh, color style. And I'll do that by clicking this little library button here in the properties panels and clicking the plus. And then I will name this color style using the suffix color. Now it's very important uh, for your color uh, to properly integrate the design system and be handled by the plugin to use uh, this syntax. So uh, name it any way you want, but end with uh, capital C O L R. So I'll call this um, lime color and create this new style. And then I'll go to this button and I'll apply the color and I can search here or I can just click on this here. And now I have this nice uh, lime green color. Uh, let's uh, ignore the fact that the white is hard to read on it right now, but let's launch the plugin and see what happens. When I refresh my preview, I get my application with a nice lime green button. Now, if I go to my dark mode, the button is still lime green. This is what we call a fixed color. So this color doesn't change if you're in light or dark mode. If you want this color, this custom color to be themed, all you have to do is uh, create a new version of it for the dark mode. Let's go through that. I'll select my color here. And again, click on the settings button. I will rename this to be part of the light theme. So now I have light lime color. And for this to work, um, I need to uh, create a new version of this. So I'm gonna unlink this one. Let's imagine that uh, in dark, I want this to be a bit more teal. And now I'll create a new custom color style. This time I'll prefix it with dark slash line color. Create that. And now when I launch the plugin and switch colors, I should get a different color in light and in dark but they're still my custom colors. Oops, sorry, let's hit the, I have to select the screen, then hit the preview button. And light mode, I have this lime green. In dark mode, I have my teal. This is not just a visual change. I forgot, let me just add this. If I go to export and go to the colors overrides, now I have my custom colors listed in the code as well. So I can hand this off to my dev partner and they can integrate it into the code as designed. And that's how you do it. Thank you.